Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this obviously devlog has been long awaited because the last one I uploaded about a month ago. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and also comment down below what you want to see in this game. After you've seen this whole video, uh, go down in the description and um, just give me some ideas of what you want added. Um, you know, let's say you want a cabin or, or you know anything. And also like the video, let's try and get to 200 likes because I know you guys love these videos. I think we could make it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and upload these a lot more consistency, uh, consistently. I said that last time. But um, yeah, I actually am uh, going to upload these more consistently. Because I've, I've been gaining more uh, more uh, more excited to, you know, develop on this game. So yeah, let's get into the video. While I'm at it, I should still mention that I am still looking for a scripter. But if you are a scripter, an animator, or anything like that, and you want to be a part of this team... Um, you know, hit me up on Twitter preferably. I don't accept friend requests on Discord, so if you want to just DM me, DM me straight away. But I'm looking for very, very uh, skilled uh, developers. So if you're interested in being a part of this project um, and help me push out Alpha faster than, you know, I was hoping to uh, push it out for, then, you know, let me know. Uh, links are in the description to contact me. And uh, yeah, so the first part of the devlog I'd like to talk up on is the uh, actual uh, first map that you guys have already seen this is basically everything you've seen so far it's just this map uh, I've changed the lighting um, quite a decent amount added some more particles I've added sound effects uh, a little bit more sound effects which I'm not going to show because you know, that just um, there's not much point really um, this is an entire new area here which is kind of the extraction spot where you're gonna leave the area you might have some uh, a mission to defeat something here and then you'd uh, finish repairing a ship or something and then you'd go over to the mainland which I have already designed some of the mainland which I'm going to show later on in the video um, so I've made some decent progress so far so if you want to see that stay to the end of the video to see a lot more of the changes that I've uh, made I've also leaked a little bit of a, a, a blurred image on Twitter uh, which if you don't already follow me on Twitter uh, links are in the description. Also follow my studio Twitter, which is also going to be in the description. So yeah, as you can see, this is a little bit of a pier. I use kind of this uh, ragged uh, look to it because obviously this is a shipwreck island, and where else are you going to get wood um, other than the shipwreck to make stuff like this? So obviously there's um you know there's meaning behind the these assets and stuff like that. So essentially you you walk down here and you could uh, maybe interact with the ship stuff like that and then you could leave the tutorial island so that's pretty much it for the changes for here i still want to add a few more things obviously i want to add mobs or all that kind of stuff but um for the most part this area is done so yeah let's go over to more of the ui and stuff like that that i've been touching up on okay so i'm in my experimental area as you see i've been messing around with a lot of different things we have uh, particles here, which aren't completely done. I'm just, uh, you know, just messing around with them. Um, I've also nailed this stylized uh, kind of tree look, which I really wanted to get down. And it took me a long time to actually get down, but I'm actually really happy with the results. Let me know if you guys like this kind of style. Um, I think I, I'm really fond of it, really. And I'm pretty sure it has less vertices uh, than um, these trees here which are on the uh, tutorial island which may, I may one day uh, replace the tutorial island trees with uh, these kind of trees um, but for the time being this is just a test as you can see I went from something like this okay for some reason that spun I went from something like this to uh, this which had a little bit too much of a bowl look to it so I uh, finished up with a result like this which I'm very pleased with uh, it turned out very well. Let me know your thoughts in the description below and um, I may even take into account some of the feedback you guys give me. Now I'm I'm really inexperienced with uh, UI so cut me some slack on this part. I get some inspiration from uh, other games and stuff like that. Um, this may change, this may not, I don't know. If I get a UI artist later on down the line and I can make them a lot better then I probably will. So to start off with the inventory we have uh, starting from the left to right, we have the player level, the player name, and his XP bar, and obviously the the Roblox store and stuff like that. 
you can equip a helmet, a chest plate, a pet, your main hand and your off hand weapon. And then you also have your currency here and your like special kind of currency. Now the right side is actually just the inventory panel which you'll be able to switch between your actual items and your cosmetics. And as you see there's going to be different rarities which these are still a work in progress. Um, I feel like the, the green colours are a little bit too bright and stuff like that which I'll, I'll get sorted um, later on. I like this little pattern I added in the uh, background. Uh, there's this nice little subtle effect to it. I'm not sure if you could see it. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, but it has this really nice effect, which I recommend you do if you mess around with the UI. Um, but yeah, and obviously the uh, X to close. Now, none of this is scripted, um, obviously, because I'm not a scripter. But uh, yeah, that's it for pretty much for the inventory. Now, the rest of the UI is pretty small, so it's like uh, stuff like uh, if you want to trade. So that player sent you a trade, you accept the decline. And then we also have the zone pop up. These are, you know, these are subject to change. Uh, you know, the area name will come up, and this uh, this kind of UI will fade in as you enter a new area. Uh, and then the last thing I have is uh, when you click on a player, usually you can inspect their items and stuff like that in MMOs. So I created kind of this thing where you can inspect them, um, uh, you know, uh, invite them to a party, trade, do all that kind of stuff, and then have the name on the top. Let me know what you guys think of this UI so far. I'm very new to it, um, so I'd appreciate feedback. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the UI. Okay, so I saved the new zone for last, just so there's more to uh, for you guys to be excited about throughout the video. Um, so this is kind of the uh, area I've designed. Obviously, there's a dragon head. A lot of people thought it was a skull, especially a dragon head. I'm not sure how uh, how much I like it at the moment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, although the mouth under here. You know, may need some work, I'm not sure yet. But um, obviously, custom textures on the palm trees, as you can see. And then you can go through here, and this is kind of the, the main area that you're going to be in. It's going to be like a fishing village uh, where you're going to start out, you're going to have your um, your starter quest, you're going to, you know, start developing, get up to level 5 or something. Um, the map's taking inspiration from games like Vestaria and stuff like that. Uh, if you couldn't already tell, which I think I did a, a good job of showing off this kind of this beachy look by um, you know adding a, a variety of palm trees, all that kind of stuff. All these archways and um, stuff really developed the uh, the map pretty well. Uh, let me know what you guys think overall of this area. Obviously, there's going to be a fishing village here, um, which is then going to progress over to the mainland, which you can access through this point or this point. So you can go through here and then obviously it opens up to this big world and then you can essentially leave over um leave off to a different area up here i may add another area over here and another area over here but that's uh, i think that depends on how much i really want to do for this starter area i don't want to overwhelm the place uh, right off the bat i may just leave it so you just walk straight down here and get to another point and then add little uh, encampments and uh, quest areas and creatures you can kill around here. So yeah, this is the scale of the map. Um, originally I was going to go for a thousand by a thousand. And then I worked out that that's clearly not enough. So um, I think it's probably like a thousand five hundred by a thousand five hundred now. I don't really know. Uh, honestly. But uh, yeah, it's turned out pretty well. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to add a lot more detail obviously to it. I haven't had too much time to mess around with it. Um, I'm going to be uploading these devlogs a lot more uh, often. So you're going to see a lot more progress onto this map. Um, let me know if you guys are excited about it. And uh, if uh, what kind of things you'd like me to add into this map. That's pretty much it for this devlog. Make sure to show your support by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.